OK, what if we want to save a preset for an actual plug-in effect? Loading presets into plug-in effects, as we've shown, is it follows the same exact dialog as loading channel strip settings. With the channel strip setting slot highlighted, we simply browse and load channel strip presets from the library. With a actual plug-in insert slot highlighted, within a channel strip, the same dialog. We browse and load presets for that particular type of effect that's in the highlighted slot from the library. But what about if we want to, you know, say we've created an EQ curve or um, a reverb uh, or a compressor um, setting or something that we want to save so we can then load it again later and use it on other things. Okay, well, saving uh, presets for effects plugins that are in insert slots on a channel strip um, isn't, you can't get into the menu for doing that anywhere here on the channel strip. I mean, in the case of the actual channel strip setting slot, having it highlighted gives you access to load presets from the library over here. Okay, and if you left click on the slot, you access the menu with all the common commands such as next and previous channel strip setting, copy and paste channel strip setting, reset channel strip setting, and the all important save channel strip setting as followed by a copy of the library. Okay. <coughs> but in the case of, of um, a sl an insert slot with a plugin in it, you know, inside a channel strip. Although loading is the same, you load from the library on the right with it highlighted. If I left click on that slot, I get a different menu. I simply get a menu to either remove the plugin or choose a completely different plugin in that slot instead, like um, you know a filter or a, a reverb or something, rather than what's in there at the moment, which is a channel EQ, um, which is on a mono uh, channel strip and track. Okay. To access all the other dialogues for things like save um, and copy and paste, you need to actually open the actual plugin that's inserted in the insert slot. Okay, so double click to open it. Okay, now with it open, as long as the slot is still highlighted in white, I can still go through the library while the plugin's open and load different EQs from the library. Okay. So let's say I load this male Vox one, and on this vocal it sounds like this. 96 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to um, modify that now. I'm going to scoop out all the mids, right? So I'm going to drop down the mids like that, and uh, let's just flatten that down. Okay, so I've scooped out the mids, and I'm going to lower the frequency down to around that 1k. Alright, so now I've scooped out the mid-range on that EQ and the vocal will now sound like this, the mids have been scooped out like this. 96 degrees. Okay, so I think, mm, I quite like that. I mean, it's I've exaggerated it here, um, obviously, to, so you can quite clearly see there's a different EQ curve. But let's say you've done that a bit more subtly and you kind of went, you know what, actually that sounds really good with this mic that I'm using which I own, uh, on my vocal, that actually works really well. So you think, I want to save that so I can load it into channel strips on my vocals in future. So we need this we need this drop-down list in the middle of the plug-in GUI. Okay, we, you, drop, you just left-click on this drop-down list here, and now you get that menu, right? And you see it has almost identical commands followed by a library to the channel strip setting menu that you get when you left click on the channel strip setting slot at the top of a channel strip. We got next and previous, copy and paste, reset, save to channel strip as, delete channel strip and then the library. And it's the same over here, look. Okay, I've got the EQ slot highlighted. We can still load EQs from over here as long as the slot is highlighted, even if this plugin is open. But to save now, I just get the same dialogue. Next and previous, copy and paste, 
reset and there's the all important save setting us. So this menu as you can see over here is almost identical to this menu on the channel strip setting slot. Next previous copy paste reset save as followed by a library and over here it's next previous copy paste reset save as followed by a copy of the library over here right so um, we will do save setting as because I want to save this nice EQ curve so left click on save setting as woody, and logic gives me that same dialog to save the EQ setting as it gave me when I wanted to save a whole channel strip setting and just like when you were saving a channel strip setting logic wants you to save it by default into your user account library application support logic plugin settings folder and then inside the actual folder for whatever type of plugin effect you're saving the preset for in this case it's channel EQ but I'm going to tell you it's better to save it into the logics actual library not into your user account library for the same reasons as saving channel strips it keeps everything organized in the folders of the actual logic library so you step out of your user account out of users Macintosh hard drive library application support logic now we're not saving a channel strip this time, we're saving a plugin setting, we're saving a channel EQ, and then if there are subfolders inside, I can choose any of them. So I'm going to choose voice. And I'm going to choose save it as mailvox scoop. Alright, because it's got a scooped mid. And there it is inside the library folder. And now I can simply go between the library presets and my modified preset all in the same folder. Lovely jubbly. All right. So I'm not going to get into this in too much depth because we'll have a whole chapter on effects. But I just want to show you how you would save presets because I'd showed you how to load presets from the library dialog on the side because it's the same as when you're loading channel strip presets. You use the library over there on the right. The same, you use the library on the right to load presets for plugin effects and I thought I'd better show you how to save them okay you've also got copy and paste and you can also select your presets from the library here all right in terms of copy and paste you can either use drop down the menu and choose copy like left click on copy and then go to another track open an EQ and do paste and it'll paste in the EQ curve You'll notice there's actually a bug here in Logic. Uh, I've copied this EQ curve, which is called Mailvox Scoop, just there, right? Just there. But when I pasted it into this other EQ on a different track, Channel Strip, although it's pasted in the curve exactly, it hasn't pasted in the title, so that's a bug. All right, so look, I'll use, I'll show you the reset command now. Reset. That just resets the plugin to zero, so everything's set to zero, right? So there's another way, you can use these two handy buttons to copy and paste, which is very quick. If you've got an EQ curve or any effect preset in any of the effect plugins that you like, you just open the effect plugin and you just do copy by clicking that copy button. Go to another effect unit of the same type on a different channel strip and just click the paste button. Just there, look, paste. And it does the same thing, paste it in. But you've just got these handy buttons to do it. And as far as the next and previous settings are concerned, you can do them here in the menu or with the key commands. But you've also got a next and previous pair of arrows here to step through the presets, right? But I don't want to get any further into this. We'll, we'll come back to effects and have a whole chapter on them. I just wanted to show you how to save presets for effects because I'd showed you that loading the presets worked by using the library folders over here. All right, so let's move on.